<laughs> this week I'm going to build the Jacob's Ladder with a twist. For this project you'll need some 1 quarter inch outer diameter flexible copper tubing, a small block of wood, and a neon sign transformer. Mine is a 15,000 volt 30 milliamp transformer. You can see this transformer also has 1 quarter inch ring terminals. First we need to see how close the terminals need to be to create a spark. On this transformer, they need to be a little less than an inch apart. Then I drilled two holes in the block of wood about that same distance. First I'll make a typical Jacob's Ladder. I took two one foot lengths of the tubing, stuck them through the terminal connectors, and then into the wood. I then mounted the wood with some black duct tape. It's really important to know that if you're going to use wood for this project like I did, you never want to leave it unattended. The spark this thing creates is very hot and it can ignite that wood on fire. So make sure you've always got an eye on it and that you've got a fire extinguisher nearby. It's working. Well the copper tubing is closest at the bottom of the V. This is the path of least resistance. So the spark's always going to start here. It'll heat the air and slowly rise. Because the air rising is ionized, it's more conductive than regular air. So that spark will just keep on rising until the ionized air breaks away from the terminals. Then the spark has to restart back at the bottom and start the cycle over. For the double helix, I started by cutting two two-foot lengths of copper tubing. I used a short piece of three-quarter inch PVC pipe as my form. Then I taped the copper tubing to the pipe just at the bottom. I left a couple inches of tubing hanging off the side. Should look like this. Then I clamped the tubing into a bench vise. Then it was just a matter of bending the tubing around the PVC pipe into the desired shape. The important thing is to make sure that the tubing is close enough together so it can make a spark. It doesn't have to be perfectly even all the way up and down. It should look like this when it's done. Next I remove the tape. And then I bent the ends of the tubing to make it easier to mount. Next I mounted the tubing just like before. Once the tubing was in place, I slid out the PVC. You can see here that these two terminals were too close together. I needed to make the pipe closer than those terminals. So I just used a pair of pliers to bend the terminals close together. And now, the spark always starts here, at the path of least resistance. It's kind of mesmerizing, isn't it? How about in the dark? So with basically just a neon sign transformer and some copper tubing, you can make yourself a Jacob's Ladder. Just make sure you always unplug it before working on it. Stay safe and have a happy Halloween!